Hi, it's Evan Roberts from Roberts Pianos Houston here, and I have this Yang Chang U111 upright piano that came in just before Christmas. And uh, the piano is in great condition, it has a few scratches on the top. You can see them maybe better in real, in real life. We're going to try and buff them out, but I'm not sure we can get rid of all of them. It's light scratching, but it's in great shape apart from that. It's Yang Chang, the keys are in great condition. The, I tuned it myself <clears throat> and I spent some time on it myself. That's why my tools are right next to it. My tools are there because I've been working on it myself and it still needs a little bit more tuning because when they come in, they need regular tuning. The hammers are in good shape. There's light, light wear on them from having been played the lady practice for piano for church. But they're in good shape just a little bit refacing the, the actual shape of the hammer is still around and we don't need to take off very much there so it's pretty good also the action is well regulated action is, is pretty good the the we need to maybe tidy up a little bit so for instance that let off is different to that let off this should be exactly the same as each other and as close as possible without double bouncing so that is doing but it sounds good i just take it apart real quick So the other thing is the pedals need cleaning. The pedals need shining up. It's very easy to do. It just takes a good little bit of effort. And um, it needs cleaning out. But... So the, uh, the bridge down here is in great shape. There's no, it hasn't come off, hasn't delaminated. And uh, there's no abnormalities in the tone of the piano. In good shape, soundboard's not, um, nothing wrong with it. That's great. It has a good tone to it. it looks just like a U1 which is a Japanese Yamaha so if I show you if I put it back together really quickly it sounds great but it's got a very balanced tone and it's well made everything's um, made properly now, some Chinese pianos they don't make the brackets of the action out of metal and this is made of, of iron or steel but it's metal it's not composite it's not half plastic it's Design wise, it's very, very similar to it. It has a prop stick here, which is for opening the sound up without having the piano. If you just want to take a quick look at it. And now let's take a look at my personal piano, which is a U1. But the size of this is about 40 inches. If you look at this, this is a console Kawaii. And the size of this is about the same size. And now let's look at a U1, which is what it's modeled after, because it's called a U111. So it must be, it must be a must be a copy of the U1, right? U111. But this is the this is the U1. The height of this is about 50 inches, roughly, give or take, because I'm not measuring right now. But it's taller. The shape is the same. They've they've copied the shape of the U1. Richer sounding. Now the U1 has become an industry standard, therefore it's more expensive. It probably be about as twice as much for the same age piano as the U111. We price twice the price for a U1, and there is is better sounding, but that's going to be more economical and it'd be excellent. That Young Chang will be an excellent learning piano, also excellent piano in general to play on. So thank you for watching this video and uh, if you want to see more, please subscribe and see, see you soon.